Everyone, this is why you should try Darius in the jungle. Here I, the Dunk Master Dude Bay, will guide you through clearing with Darius in the jungle. We can maximize our early clear with Darius's bleed, runes, and items to fix one of Darius's biggest issues. His movement speed! His build makes Darius quick, but during the early game, it's most important to let camps burn and bleed out. We'll do clearing jungle first, and the build after. Here are the runes you want to go. Sorcery Tree, it's gonna be Phase Rush, Unis Cloak, Celerity, Water Walking, and then you're gonna go Domination second, and you wanna go Relentless Hunter, and then Eyeball Collection. The rest of the three, you wanna do Attack Speed, Adaptive, and Health. If you made it this far, and want to learn live, we are doing a Darius Jungle Unranked to Masters Challenge. So let's just talk the baby! There are a couple variations we can do the runes, but for this, we're sticking with Phase Rush because Stridebreaker, Phase Rush, and Ghost have a very nice combo. Now, this here, we're just in practice tool because we're showing you exactly how to get your clear at least 310 to 315 and save one smite. You could use double smite, and if you have a leash, it's even faster, but that doesn't matter. It's fine. So you want a ward like usual. If you're doing a full clear, it might depend on what the enemy jungler is. Uh, usually if they're not going to invade you, you could totally do a full clear. If they are going to invade you, mm, be careful because you don't want to be behind. But with this full clear, if you're getting top level four at around 320 and then have 330 scuttle spawn. And you do scuttle right after with smite. Now with our abilities, we're going to start W and we're going to use that auto reset to our advantage and get the bleed stacks ASAP. Start bleeding the camp walk down. Uh, you'll see how we do it here. Now, when we're autoing the camp, we want to make sure we're using W to reset the auto. And also, we don't want to start kiting the camp when the W slow is active. So we want to wait till the W's down. You can check on the toolbar. If you just click the left, it'll be at the top left. Walk down, and we're going to smite it and use the Nimbus Cloak to get the next camp. What we want to be doing here with all the mini camps, we want to make sure the Q hits as many little minis as possible because our wolf will keep smacking if our bleed stacks. So any dot or damage of time effect on the camps will just keep smacking there. There's no I in team, but there is one in Darius. Birds are a little hard to get the Q on everyone. We want to hit the big one and walk down a little bit. It's a little, uh, eh, just weird, honestly. So, good luck! Now with wolves, wolves are pretty easy. I mean, there's only three of them. The Q can easily hit all three. You want to try to drag everything over. Uh, using E for this camp is weird, we'll show you, but don't have to use it if you think you're going to get invaded, like level three, kind of. You can save it. You don't need it. You can just clear it and then get the camp. But, uh... For the blue to drop, we want to make sure we can time a few together. Timing is all that matters with this Darius jungle. You could get it even faster. My micro is not the best in the jungle. I'm currently learning. I would love to see someone with a huge challenger gameplay playing Darius in the jungle clearing fast. That would be pretty fun. So now you can let this bleed, walk to river, and you got there at like 315. Maybe a top gank. Maybe you for Scuttle. Maybe see if you can counter gank somewhere. Uh, let's get into ganking. It's a little tough ganking on Darius. Uh, that's the only downside of it. You gotta kind of have to wait till you have items. You can fight River. You could do counter ganks. You could do... Uh, if your mid's dying, you could go save him. It is hard to initiate something without any setup. Because you're not Zaki. You don't have a Zaki to jump at the enemy. You don't have a Hecarimi to dash at the enemy. Uh, you rely on walking at them with Ghost and hooking them. So, it's good, but that's the only downside is ganking. Now, for the build, it's going to be a little situational. Strybreaker is good with Phase Rush. Uh, it could be Dead Man second if there's a lot of AD. Wood Speed, Sterex if you get burst a lot. And maybe Force of Nature if they have a lot of AP. But it's most likely going to be Dead Man's. Booties, most likely going to be Swiftness. It's cheap. It's fast. Maybe Merc Treads if there's a lot of CC, and maybe Tobbies if there's a lot of auto attack champions that do AD. It all depends on the game. Now, I am a top laner, so Jungle Advice, eh, maybe not be my best. But what I can tell you 
is to stop worrying and just talk there, baby! Ooh. Now, why Dunk Master Darius in the jungle? Because it's fun! And you can have fun playing it. I didn't know he was doing that. We have a series right now, right here. We're playing through everything, trying to get to Masters. We're currently plat three. And it's been a lot of fun playing Darius in the jungle. I can't lie. There's Darius jungle in less than six minutes. Like, comment, subscribe, join the dunk squad, and keep on dunking, baby. Let's go! Boom! We can maximize 